That's the lives of people today if they would only hear it and that we would only share it. Yes, I know these are things that you've heard me say before, but these have impact in the spiritual world. You have an impact on the spiritual world because you are children of God. And yes, here it comes. I am aware that we need to prepare for our annual general meeting for the governance of our congregation to work well and to continue forward. And this means calling on you to discern your gifts of service that you might be willing to offer. Yes, time, talents, and abilities, resources that you have been blessed with, capacity on every level that can be generously offered as a blessing for others, service on the board, on the committees, on studies of scripture and faithful living, knowing that we will be equipped, prepared, and confident to be witnesses of God's love in word and in action in every opportunity that comes our way. So I'm asking you to discern. We need at least two members on the board because some are stepping down for various reasons. Thankful that they've served. We need at least one person as a what we call our envelope secretary. We need at least another person on our MP committee to help support the work that they do support, supporting the, the hired people of our church. And there are other places to serve. And so if you have a desire to offer your abilities, your gifts, then please talk to us. We will approach some of you as well. We don't have to overthink this thing of calling of Jesus Christ in our life. We don't have to overthink the work of God. It is very apparent before us every day. We just need to be willing and then to commit to something that we can offer and ask and even to ask to be supported ourselves if we are in need. If there comes a moment in our life where we need the support of the family of God, brothers and sisters in Christ, let's ask for it. So that we will be calling forward the gifts of God among ourselves. All of these things all of these offerings of our gifts as we wait expectantly for Jesus to arrive for the grand finale. I'll let that one hang for you to think about. What does that mean for us? May God bless you in your discerning and in our preparing daily for the work of God. We're going to turn to our time of prayer. Prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. Again, prayers that you might hold in your heart and mind and spirit that you would let God know about this day. If you use words to do that, there'll be moments of silence that I'll stop talking. You can talk. If you need to let that just be in your thoughts with the Spirit of God knowing our every thought, allow your prayers to be given over to God this day. If those are prayers for us personally, individually, or for others around us, let us be willing to entrust our life into God's hands in prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. Let us bow our hearts, our lives in prayer. God, in whom we live and move and have our being, 
This week we join with Christians around the world to pray for peace and unity, for justice and mercy in your fragile creation. We remember before you today people living face to face with war and violence, and especially those places where ancient hatreds burn. Let's name those places of conflict that touch our heart and our thoughts this day. seems just like it's never ending. It seems that every time we find parts of our world in wars, it's never ending. And there are many conflicts all over this world right now, right now, that we're not even aware of. We couldn't name them, and yet we know they're real. Lord, in conflict between brother and sister, those created by you, we pray that you would intercede. That by our calling and acting for peace and justice, that we would find the ways to disrupt the disruptions of war. God, speak to us a word of peace. We remember before you people living face to face with face to face with economic uncertainty, those struggling with rising costs of daily necessities, and those who have lost their jobs, their savings, their homes or businesses. We pray for people in other regions of Canada who face different challenges than we do. Lord, hear our prayer. God, speak to us a word of reassurance. Amen. We remember before you today people living face to face with discrimination and social prejudice. Those who are bullied at school, at work, at home, and all those who have been made ashamed of who they are. Lord, hear our prayer. God, speak to us a word of dignity. We remember before you today people living face to face with illness and suffering, those waiting for a diagnosis or treatment, those struggling with disability or delay in medical attention, or those who know grief or fear. Lord, hear our prayer. God, speak to us a word of healing. Amen. We remember before you today a different people of different creeds and faiths, those who seek understanding and cooperation among different religious traditions, and those who show love to their neighbors, whatever their creed or conviction. 
Lord, hear our prayer as we bring it to you. God, speak to us a word of reconciliation. And we remember before you your whole creation and its many vulnerable facets and faces. Teach us how to care for the rips and tears in the fabric of the world you love, so that we may live together wisely and protect the future in our attitudes and actions. Hear our prayer. God, speak to us a word of wisdom. And so, in unity with your church around the world that you love, we pray together in the words that Jesus taught us as we sing the Lord's Prayer.
who into the world to live out the gift of unity in Christ, eager to serve and open to learn from the Christ who calls us and sets us free. May the love of God, the peace of Christ, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be yours now and always.